What are you grateful for in 2020, Ruth? Well, I'm thankful for my healthy family, and I'm thankful for belonging to a church that remembers me with gifts and phone calls and cheerful messages throughout the year. Welcome to the Thanksgiving celebration of Christ Lutheran and Christ Covenant Church in Harleysville. We're glad that you're with us. Although I am thankful for many things each year, the two things that stand out to me this year are being able to work as an essential worker to help people and having technology that enables me to participate in activities and be safe. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, since the pandemic uh, in March, we had a shutdown and it was difficult to maintain the structure of Sunday morning habits. We did have our sermons through a Zoom video, which Pastor Jim taught us uh, how to use and which he delivered for us as well as Kathy. But uh, we lost some of the, the, the structure that was, that was there usually. So the, during the next few weeks, uh, it was decided to go ahead and begin adult Sunday school. And we tried to do some initial studies in the book of James. And this was followed by some uh, chapters in early in the Old Testament with the study of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Without that study uh, and Zoom video, we would not have been able to look at this in detail. And we haven't looked at that in the, in the group or personally for a long time. So this gave us a much better structure for Sunday morning in addition to the worship services. And this uh, gave me a very uh, good personal uh, help in staying close to scripture in spite of uh, having no Sunday services in the morning and the, during the pandemic. Great, thank you. I'm Elsie Nibblink, and I'm thankful that my family is safe and healthy. some socks and shoes and clothes that's wonderful so what's that i think you're thankful that you were able to do that so you're thankful that you were able to give people some socks and shoes and clothes and food and food that's so nice libby i love that anything else you think nothing at all <laughs> all right well how about the people in the room with you what? How about your people in the room next to you? Are you thankful for them? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
your family? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's great. Good. Your friends or cousins? My friends and cousins. Oh, your friends and cousins? Oh, that's wonderful. All right. All my friends. Hi, I'm Madison Fritz. And in 2020, I'm thankful for my family, friends, my dog, Ginger, and sewing for keeping me sane through the quarantine. Friends, it's so wonderful to be here for this Thanksgiving service. We are grateful that Pastor Serena and you here at Christ Lutheran are hosting us this year, even if it's going out virtually. It's a joy to be here, and we're very thankful for the partnership that we at Christ Covenant have had with Christ Lutheran over many years. Our reading for today is from Philippians chapter 4. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and my crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, my beloved. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentleness be known to everyone. The Lord is near. Do not worry about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, my beloved, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, and if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Keep on doing the things that you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, and the God of peace will be with you. I have learned to be content with whatever I have. I know what it is to have little, and I know what it is to have plenty. In any and all circumstances, I have learned the secret of being well-fed and of going hungry, of having plenty, and of being in need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. And my God will fully satisfy every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. To our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. And may God add a blessing to this, the reading of his holy word. Thank you, friends. Despite the instabilities and challenges of 2020, I need to remind myself to think about the things that are right in front of me that I should be thankful for. I'm thankful for getting through each of these challenges and the worries and the, all the unknowns that have happened this year. I'm thankful for family and friends, for prayer warriors, for technology that allows me to stay connected to the outside world when we can't be together in person, for a roof over my head that doesn't leak, for food on the table and clean water to drink, for a bed and soft pillow to lay my head down at night knowing some have only a dirt floor. But above all, I'm thankful for a sovereign God that despite the appearances to the contrary, he is in complete control of each situation. And I'm thankful to God for his reminder that he will not abandon me and that he loves me unconditionally. These are the things I'm grateful for. The Shadow of the Dove, a poem by Kate McGilligan. When dawn's ribbon of glory around the world returns and the earth emerges from sleep, the shadow of the dove is seen as she flies across moor and city. Over the warm breast of the earth she skims, her shadow falling on the watcher in the tower, the refugee in the ditch, the weary soldier at the gate. The shadow of peace falls across the all-night sitting of a council, across the tense negotiations around the table. The shadow of hope 
is cast across the bars of a hostage cell, filling with momentary light rooms tense with conflict, bringing a brief respite, a sliver of gold across the dark. She flies untiring across flooded fields, across a city divided by hate and fear, across a town wreathed in smoke, the shadow of reconciliation, the dove of peace with healing in her wings, is felt and seen and turned toward as she makes righteousness shine like the dawn, the justice of her cause like the noonday sun. Holy Spirit of love, bring healing, bring peace. Okay, so, um, I am thankful for, it's been a pretty rough year. So after I was diagnosed with diabetes and my dad was diagnosed with cancer, um, we got lots and lots of support and gifts and people were helping as much as they could, which was pretty helpful because they kind of knew that it was a rough time for us. So it was good to get that support from friends and family and anybody really. Um, I'm also just thankful for my house, uh, my family, all my friends, and everything that I'm blessed with every day, like food, nature, just everything. Um, I'm grateful for my new puppy. And I'm also grateful for my family and my health. Nice. Good job. What else? Anything? Um, I'm also grateful for my How about school? school and my friends and my Your sisters. No. <laughs> no. And my um, friends and family.
Well, first, the, uh, we're the Munden family. I'm Julie, Sage, and Calvin. And I'm especially thankful for these two people sitting next to me. Uh, this year has been challenging with COVID, and I feel that the time we've had quarantining and then distancing and being together has gotten us closer. We spend a lot of time together, we cook together, we eat together, we communicate a lot better than we have before COVID. Because we're so close, uh, we have to learn to be respectful of each other's feelings. And it's a lot better than it used to be with running and dashing out and not having time to spend with each other. So that's one of the biggest things that I'm thankful for in 2020, these two. All right, so I'm Sage and I'm thankful for not only my family and parents and the dog, but um, I do horseback riding. I've been riding for almost six years. And with COVID shutting most of my other af uh, after school activities down, uh, horseback riding has remained open and it's remained safe. And I'm very thankful that I can go there. I can kind of forget about everything that's happening in the world and I can enjoy one of the things that I love the most. And also it's brought me closer to both of my parents, not mostly my dad, no offense, mom, because you're, you're scared that I'm gonna fall off. And only one parent can go because of COVID. Yeah, so my dad has been the designated parent, but he's also been super supportive, both of my parents have, and I'm really thankful for the sport and both of my parents supporting me throughout my six, almost six years, so. Okay, so I'm Calvin. Um, I am also thankful for these two that are sitting beside me. Um, but in addition to that, I'm, I'm very thankful for the Christ Lutheran Church family who um, has been a, a huge spiritual light in, 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 in my family and in, in, in my life and in my, um, my family's life. It, I think being a part of the, uh, the, the church at Christ Lutheran, has created um, a, 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 a good base for our family. And it's, I think it's made us more involved. I think it's making us more faithful. And I'm, I'm thankful for all the ministries that, that goes on, even though I'm, I may not be a, um, a legitimate member, I feel like a, a member there. And I'm thankful for what the church is doing, and I am thankful for what it's doing in my family's life. I'll be reading a litany of thanksgiving by Howard Thurman. Today, I make my sacrament of thanksgiving. I begin with the simple things of my days, fresh air to breathe, cool water to drink, the taste of food, the protection of houses and clothes, the comforts of home. For all these, I make an act of thanksgiving this day. I bring to mind all the warmth of humankind that I have known, my mother's arms, the strength of my father, the playmates of my childhood, the wonderful stories brought to me from the lives of many who talked of days gone by when fairies and giants and all kinds of magic held sway. The tears I have shed, the tears I have seen, the excitement of laughter and the twinkle in the eye with its reminder that life is good. For all these, I make an act of thanksgiving this day. I finger, one by one, the messages of hope that awaited me at the crossroads. The smile of approval from those who held in their hands the reins of my security. The tightening of the grip in a single handshake when I feared the step before me in the darkness. The whisper in my heart when the temptation was fiercest and the claims of appetite were not to be denied. The crucial words said, the simple sentence from an open page when my decision hung in the balance. For all these, I make an act of thanksgiving this day. I pass before me the mainsprings of my heritage, 
the fruits of the labors of countless generations who lived before me, without whom my own life would have no meaning. The seers who saw visions and dreamed dreams, the prophets who sensed a truth greater than the mind could grasp and whose words could only find fulfillment in the years which they would never see. The workers whose sweat has watered the trees, the leaves of which are for the healing of the nations. The pilgrims who set their sails for lands beyond all horizons, whose courage made paths into new worlds and far off places. The saviors whose blood was shed with a recklessness that only a dream could inspire and God could command. For all this, I make an act of thanksgiving this day. I linger over the meaning of my own life and the commitment to which I give the loyalty of my heart and mind, the little purposes in which I have shared with my loves, my desires, my gifts, the restlessness which bottoms all I do with its stark insistence that I have never done my best, I have never reached for the highest, the big hope that never quite deserts me, that I and my kind will study war no more, that love and tenderness and all the inner graces of almighty affection will cover the life of the children of God as the water covers the sea. All these and more than mind can think and heart can feel, I make as my sacrament of thanksgiving to thee, our Father, in humbleness of mind and simplicity of heart. Amen. <laughs> and Ella is, how old are you, Ella? Oh, in this year, 2020, when Ella turned four, what are some things or what's something that you are thankful for that you're happy about and can give thanks for? Yes, you what you're thankful for. Can you show her? And what is that? A heart. A what is heart? That? What does the heart mean? Wow. I moved, my hand was right in the way. Okay, can you do it like with a smile on your face? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> can you say, I think you whispered something, but I was talking over you. Can you say it again? Show them the picture. What is that? A heart. And it means? Love. Love. So you're thankful for love? Oh, that's beautiful, Ella. Did you make that heart? Yep. Yep. Well, that's a beautiful heart. We got some baseball them over there, and then we got basket. We got the basket in our heart, and we got and decorated it with some baseball all around. I love it, Ella. That's beautiful. <laughs> that's really nice. Well, thank you. I'm so glad you're thankful for love and for the hearts, and I'm so glad you and mommy had fun laminating it and. Oh, can you hold it up again so I can see the colors? Can I get it closer? Oh, that's so nice. What I'm grateful for mostly is, uh, of course, friends and family and all my friends at Christ Lutheran, past and present. But what I'm mostly grateful for is the opportunity that God has given me and all others to serve. You know, I look at it this way. God doesn't really need us. He gives us the opportunity to serve. So when we get an opportunity like that, we should be grateful for it. For our, it's our chance to be a blessing for God and for our community. So, and, as far as 2020 is concerned, some people may not feel that it was a lot to be uh, thankful for, but if you look hard enough, there are many things to be thankful for. So I wanna wish everybody a happy and mostly a safe Thanksgiving.